So welcome again everybody. This is the 2012 US Amateur Championship. This is Inside Pool TV. Thank you everybody for showing up. This is uh, at Stroker's Billiards in Palm Har Harbor, Florida. This is the corner man, Freddie Agner. I'm joined with Ted Harris, Ted Harris Cues. Teddy, how are you today? All right, I'm fine. How are you, Freddie? I'm doing very, very well. We've got a great matchup here today. It's uh, Brian Parks versus Nick Connors. Brian is from uh, Los Angeles area, Bakersfield. I know you know something about him. Tell us, uh, tell us what you know about him. A little, little bit of uh, detective work here. Well, he when I was out in California, you know, back in the night, like in the early to mid '90s, uh, he was out there then. Uh, just he was just getting started, you know. He started traveling around, playing in tournaments, you know, playing in like the McDermott Tour and whatever was going on out there, floating around a little bit. And uh, he plays pretty good, you know. Uh, he I was talking to him yesterday, and he told me that uh, I, I don't know what he, I'm not I'm not specific on the years that he was talking about. But uh, he said that he lost his first match in this tournament right. and won uh, 14 in a row to uh, come in third in this. And I and I believe he also came in second in this one time. But it, you know, don't quote me on that. Well, uh, it, it's uh, already on the stream and recorded for posterity, so I don't have to quote you. Uh, <laughs> this is Nick Connors that's shooting right now. Unfortunately, they're both wearing the same outfit, so it's going to oh, be a little it. bit difficult when they come out of the screen for us. Uh, Nick was on the screen uh, the the stream earlier. Uh, I believe that Brian is a left-hander. Is that is that true? Uh, you know, I don't, I can't answer that question. <laughs> I thought he was right-handed. I can't tell, but this is Nick that's shooting right. Well, he was shooting a second goal. They have the same look. They're both wearing the same black, and they both have the same bald spot on the top of their head. So this is going to be very unfair for the commentators. <laughs> All right, one of them has at least a wedding ring. So uh, let's see who it is. It looks it's like Nick. Nick. Nick's got the wedding ring. Uh, any idea if, uh, what Brian's going to have? Well, we need to have him come back. I don't know. We'll see in a minute. This might be the toughest commentating that we've done here because, as I said, they're both wearing the same outfit. Maybe one of them will change their shirt here in a second. Nick's cue has a light wrap uh, handle. I don't know if it's a wrapper or uh, I guess it is a wrap. Looks like lizard way yeah. from way over here. Yes. So and Brian's Brian, rap is black. It's and he is left-handed, unless he just likes lagging left-handed. Yeah. Both of them chose orange balls, like they they want to make it more difficult for us. Nick wins the lag. I think. Yeah. Right. Brian's lefty. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Parks took uh, third in the 2008 championship. Wait, and he was the champ champion in 2009, Michelle? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> this is what we need. We need the chat room to tell us what's going on. They can do the commentating, and uh, Teddy, you and I can just sit here. Was he the champion? Well, that's what someone says. Uh, Michelle Monk says that uh, 2009. I think that's how I'm reading, but I read very poorly. And she says yes. And yes could mean a lot of things. Okay, well, I was wrong. He didn't come in second then. He won it. Yeah, he came in third uh, many years ago, 2008. And he came in third 2010, so maybe that's what you're thinking. Last year, 2011, I think that David Uate came in third. <laughs> so here we go. Eight ball is the game of choice. Uh, five games of eight ball, and then up to eight games of nine ball. Race to seven. U.S. Amateur Championship 2012 edition. We are at Strokers in Palm Harbor, Florida, just north of Clearwater. The ladies, uh, they are in Key Crooked Cue uh, in Clearwater, about 10 miles south of here. And uh, I think for the finals or maybe even the semifinals, they will join us here at Strokers tomorrow. Going for the big bust break. Oh, you hit those hard. Oh, those balls just flying all over the place. Look at this. Ball goes in the pocket. Boink. Wide open. The eight ball is kind of stuffed. Eight and five are tied up. Yeah, in fact, you hit them so hard, there are too many balls in the kitchen. Fifteen's tied up. Eleven's tied up. Yeah, he's, he's got his work cut out for him here. Yeah, if he runs out here, that uh, he's he's done something special.
And we've got country music playing in the background now. I'm sorry to say it's probably the one thing I don't like about living down here. Everything else is phenomenal. You don't like country music? Yeah, that's one easy way to say it, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, 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 yeah, that's enough. That's all I'll say. <laughs> and this one's a tough one to even predict because, um, you know, it's not wide open. It looks like he's actually playing a carom for a shirt for a shot, trying to get maximum value out of shot number one. No, he's banking. That's a, that's nuts. Of course, I'm saying that as if uh, he was open after the break, but apparently he wasn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He was forced to shoot high balls, so I apologize for that. This is uh, commentator idiocy, as I'm very used to the open after the break. We are playing take what you make. Certainly looks like he would like to keep uh, the ball, the striped, uh, to the left of the eight ball as his last ball. I think it's the 14, possibly. But uh, he may, it seems like that's the best shot he's got on it. I think he's going to fire back at this 10 ball that's sitting in the middle of the table. Because the 8 ball really doesn't go anywhere except for the bottom right pocket at this point. So he's looking at, looking like, a, it's either the 10 or the 12 right in the middle of the table, try to pocket to the left side, bounce one rail to the side, go from the wow, 9 or the shot. 13. 9 ball would be next. <laughs> going on uh, it, it, yeah what's going on is that just the lighting it might be flickering tricky shot looks like he's running into the 13 no he's got two rails around going for the 11 he's uh, he's dancing here a little bit of dancing what do you shoot here Teddy do you shoot the 11 ball and go two rails around the six for the 13 you have to you, you have to leave the 14 to be able to get on there I mean unless you can come up with another way to get on the eight Nick Connor is uh, shooting with the uh, Keith Josie Q. He's using a Predator shaft. And from way over here, I can't tell, but it looks like he's got a white wrap on there, so I'm guessing some kind of the ringtail lizard, but yeah, if we get like closer. This is tough because I don't think he can actually get around the six on a draw shot. It's got to be flat uh, or follow which means he's going to have to really spin this with follow, and that makes a, this shot extremely tough. Oh, no, I'm, I'm no it at doesn't look like he can get around the six at all, Come looking from, uh, from the head uh, angle, the, the foot angle, I should say. <coughs> I'm looking at uh, Brian's uh, stats here, and <coughs> it looks like he... It looks like he did he did win the two the 2009 US Amateur and the 2009 Run Runner, Rum Runner in Las Vegas tournament. Oh, nice. They have a tough bar table tournament over there. Well, as I thought that he, he had a tough time getting around the six. In fact, he tried to use inside English and stay on the right side of the six. He ran straight into it, and he still has a shot, but he's shooting at the he's shooting at the 14. Uh, <coughs> so he's he's doing some tricky action here. <coughs> He'd like to have some kind of angle on the 13 uh, to pocket into the lower left pocket and go two rails and to be able to shoot the 8 ball into the right lower corner pocket as we view it. But he needs to make this ball first, the 14 ball, slide over. I think it's the 14. I could be making it up. I two tonned it, but he's behind the 3 ball. All that. My vision is so bad. So this is usually when we start getting to the end of the tournament, um, you know, things like this. This is a, ends up being almost like sudden death, where if you don't get, if you decide to go all the way out and you don't get out, you might as well start racking them up. Teddy, uh, is anybody here playing with your cues, uh, other than you? No. <laughs> I've been out of the loop for so long, you know. There are people, you know, in Florida using them. They're just, they're not in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> what is Rishi with? 
And that one uh, of yours, huh? Well, yeah, he's he's got he's got a a break jump cue that he's you know starting to use, and uh, he's got a cue order, but it's not done yet. <laughs> uh, we'll get there. We will. <laughs> we'll get there. Ted Harris, Ted Harris cues, and he and his partner Danny Green. Read all about it in the next month, the December issue of Inside Pool Magazine, the Cue Maker's Corner. I'm close personal friends with the author. <laughs> Actually, I have a love-hate relationship with him. <laughs> well, he hit the ball, so uh, no ball in hand here, and he's actually laid this pretty good because Perfect. the first shot is uh, going to be tricky. Uh, scratches in play. Ryan Parks, first, uh, first time at the table here. That cue he's got is a uh, is an Ed Pruitt cue. This uh, very Ed, fine cue. Ed Pruitt. I mean, I think Ed Pruitt has been long one of the most underrated cue makers uh, in the world. Uh, it makes one of the prettiest cues, and he's been, he's been doing it for a long time. I remember the first time uh, Ed brought his stuff to the Super Billiards Expo. He was easily, you know, the cue maker of the show. That was quite a shot for his first shot. It was a sort of a safe shot because if he missed it, he'd be behind uh, this two ball, but makes it and now it's it's fairly wide open the five ball still becomes the toughest ball on the table as it has been <coughs> but uh, I like sort of going for it right now if he had the angle I well, can't get there now yeah you know that Eddie Pruitt is underrated he, he makes a beautiful cue right. and he used a lot of silver and I don't know if it's, an a, if it's a West Coast type of idea, but uh, those guys have been putting all kinds of stuff in, into cues for years. Yeah. Ed, I believe, is a machinist uh, by trade. Uh, so He was. Or is. And and I'll tell you something else. He's a smart guy, too, because when I, when I first got out to Los Angeles in, like, 1992, they had this... Uh, they had a they had a jump cue that was like 16 millimeters and it was called Eddie's 747. Did you ever see that no, thing? No, no. Man, dude, this thing would thick, jump balls thick, like thick. no tomorrow. What kind of lead time do you have in a custom order, Teddy? Um, it depends on how intricate it is, but you know, I, I mean, four months, five months. Looks like he's Just pointing a plain for the cue. Looks like he's, he's pointing for the uh, two ball in the side pocket. And it, it's a good angle because if he can make this, he just drifts down. Yeah, ideally, he'd like to be at least straight in on the five ball after this, after yeah. this two ball, if he can make the two ball. He's got the head shake going on, so maybe the angle isn't as nice as, uh, as it looks from up here. Because he was playing. Well, I think he's worried about being on the wrong side. On the shorts, right. you know, on the same side of the five. I think he'd rather be, you know, straight in or on this side of it a little bit. Yeah. I'm sure that's what it was. Right. Well, he's now, just, now he's, he's got to crash into balls. Right. He's got to stroke this out. Maybe he does rub the eight, but if he doesn't, if he doesn't rub the eight. Yeah, I think he's going to shoot the three and then get on that side of it and draw into the five yeah if he does that you know it, it's one of those cases where you have to be a tremendous player to get out going that way and I'm not saying he's uh. not a tremendous player but it's it's a tougher way to, to get out if you're gonna go all the way out I think he's thinking if he makes this five he's got a better shot at winning the game well I think the problem here is if you draw into the th if you draw off the eight and hit that 13 ball if you hit it on this side you might be in trouble yeah. you've got to draw into it and you've got to hit the other side I know a lot of people might be thinking why doesn't he just go ahead and play the five and, and play safety or something like that and I just don't think that's that's going to be his choice ever on this shot was this your original shot Teddy that's go up the there one and, I said. and draw down towards the 13 yeah that's the one I said I like the shot also, but he, you know, he just has—he actually has to get better than he was a second ago, where, where the cue ball was. But at least he'd be shooting the five than the eight. Uh, biggest, biggest issue, of course. This, I think he did this the right way. Biggest issue is going to be the thirteen. Oh, but he hit it. He, yeah, he got I, a little funny. The, the, the cloth grabs. But like I said, he's not playing for anything else but the but the eight ball. Even if he touches the eight, the eight ball's going down, down. here. 
And you know, you can hit this ball slow. You know, you can right. slow roll it. You know, uh, you know what? He might just uh, it looks to thin me. it. You know, thin it and yep. send the cue ball over there. Yeah, funny because now he's playing the safe that he probably could have played before, but he had two blockers. I'm actually surprised he played a safety there because he was shoot the five ball went. You'll see more more players just go ahead and go for it because the eight ball, as as we talked about, the eight ball would be probably floating yeah, but down. You know, you know, he he decided that he didn't want to turn that cue ball loose. He didn't want to turn it loose. Yeah, you'd you'd hate for him, you know, giving that up and then coming back with even a worse shot. Because if you, if you know if you turn that cue ball loose and you don't get out, you're losing, probably. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I mean, <laughs> right now the other guy's kicking. Right, right. But it was good execution. Um, a little bit shorter, and he wouldn't be kicking. <laughs> and if he's called this ball, there's a good shot he can make this. Well, he doesn't have to call it, right? He's hit it. Not a hanger by any means. Fairly straight, but it's a long one. Right. I would think Ryan would make this. Yeah, I mean, this is the difference between looking at the winner's side and late in the rack versus early in the rack. Oh, he's missed this by a lot. But he's sort of a two-way shot there because it's, this ends up being a tough shot. But y this is a shot that – this is a makeable shot for anybody. Yeah, you know this table. Uh, this table might be haunted. Yeah, because it's <laughs> <laughs> it's it's tearing some souls right now. Yeah, you know it, it. It people are missing on this table. Right. And that's a big point because even that one, it wasn't a hanger, but he missed it by a lot. And uh, you've seen him play. I think the expectation for sure was that he'd scare the pocket. Yeah, he. You know. He should have made that. Especially when we're considering he is a former national champion. Well, this is the game ball here uh, for, for Nick. Oh, he's wet for the bank. Wow, man. He jumped straight off the bridge. Sometimes I don't understand. Maybe that ball was closer to the rail than I, than I could see. Just straight follow here. Half ball hit. I mean, I thought Nothing for sure he was banking that. I mean, uh, cut that cutting ball that in. And he fired at that bank, didn't he? Trying to shorten it up. Nice stroke there. One nothing. Brian Parks. Tougher game than it. It started off looking like a tough game, then it looked like uh, was it was solved, and then uh, given back up. <laughs> if you see anybody, if you see anybody like go over there. That's kind of like uh, you know when when the replay happens on this uh, on uh, Brian's early shot. Uh, I liked. If he went and tried to shoot one rail across and tried to get to the five immediately, because the five was the tough ball and he had a ball to get to it. And if he had done that, I don't know if he was straight and too straight or what, but if he'd done that, and I, I know it seems odd if you rewind the tape that you'd ever shoot that, but uh, that's probably what I would have done, and um, I would have lost earlier anyway. Second ball break coming up. Eight ball counts if they make the ball in the break. Eight ball came right out, but nothing hit it. The ball's flowered out, but they're flowering back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Low balls are all up, which uh, are the wide open balls. What do you do here, 
Teddy, it doesn't look like a ball goes. He's cut this into the 13 and pocket this in the side pocket. That's what you got to do, and you got to go two go rails, two rails back go and below. forth to shoot the 13 again or something else. He's looking at this, these balls uh, as if he was actually playing. Oh, he played position you know. on the 15. I didn't see the 15 there. Oh, honestly, I neither did I. I mean, that's been happening to me because it gets covered by there's some wording on the, on the production screen. <laughs> that's been happening to me all day. I'm gonna give out a shout out to my New England, my New England uh, friends out there. All of them. And you know, now that you're giving a shout out, I'd like to give one too because equal time. That's right. <laughs> um, I'd like to give a shout out to Danny and Janet. Uh, I also want to give out a shout out to Danny and Janet. Does that count for you or, you know, I, I know I'm piggybacking. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. Um, without them, I couldn't be here. That's guaranteed. Meanwhile, Brian tried to uh, break the two balls in the left, the 9 and 11, tried to break those out as they are troubled balls. Ran into them, but they didn't come out. And, again, you know, once you start running balls... Makes it an awful lot, awful easy to uh, for the uh, opponent. Should make it easy for the opponent to run out. The tables, are, the pockets are pretty big here. The problem has been the speed of the cloth. Yeah, he's got to reach uh, into his bag of tricks here because he's got nothing to shoot at. You know, Fred, earlier this year. Um, I was on an APA team, and I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Janet and Nikki and Kelly. Um, I was on an APA. One of the teams I was on, my nine ball team, uh, we were playing in the City Cup, and we were winning. And the captain of the team, uh, Mike Sr., uh, had a heart attack and passed away right there in the pool room. Oh, wow. And... Uh, I would just like to give a shout out to his family and all the team mem team members, you know, and <clears throat> I love his family very much. And uh, anyway, uh, nice they quit. The team quit, you know, after the after the season was over because they just couldn't play right then, you know. Sure. So <clears throat> so I had to get on another nine ball team because I was playing in the singles, you know, and I was trying to play in the the singles so I had to get on another team and I I had to call you know I had to call up David Uwadi he was playing on a team in Broward County even though he's from Miami and I had to mm -hmm. call him up and I had to pull like a ton of strings to get on this team right and he he gave up his spot on the team for me so I could still be qualified David did yeah all right yeah and it was very nice and I, I just want to thank the team for doing that because They've really, David and, and Raymond, for instance, and, and my team has like really inspired me to play pool again, and I'm just oh. so glad about that. Nice. Thank you guys. Oh, that was nice. I didn't see David here this, uh, this week. He didn't make he it. He didn't make it, okay. David, uh, I believe, like I said, he, I believe he came in third last year. I know he was in the last day, and uh, I believe I did his match. Uh, or maybe he was on the other table, but I think he came in third or or, or uh, three four. You know, David's got a lot of responsibility. He works, a, you know, a job. He's got a family, kids. You know, little kid, ten year. Oh, I think they're right, ten or eleven right. and seven or eight or something. And you know. <coughs> Meanwhile, this uh, this rack looks looks pretty done here. Even though I don't I don't like the idea of leaving the, a ball into the side pocket as your as your last ball. Uh, they're all just kind of hovering around here, so it's probably not going to be so bad. Meantime, uh, David won the eight ball qualifier about maybe, I don't know, four or five weeks ago for the singles in Vegas. Oh, nice. So he's always, you know, there. He's always in it to win it. Sure. But, uh, you know, some, that's just how it rolls sometimes. So he didn't get here. Nick wants to be dead straight on this. Certainly doesn't want to go too far. That's good. 
and he is dead straight. Now he got a little cut, little cut, but it's the right way. Oh, he banked it. He's breathing. You know, I can't believe I'm sitting here and I'm in the APA and the, I don't even know the name of my teams. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow? You know, I, I've uh, I played leagues for 20 plus years and um, almost every team I've been on, there was no team names. It was just the bar, you know. That's how, that, that's how creative we all were. I play out of uh, Lucky 7 in uh, Davy and also Gold Crown in Hollywood. And I'd like to thank those two pool rooms too while I'm at it. Very nice. What's the score here? I think the Nick oh. just won that one, so I believe it's one to one. And Nick is breaking, Sorry about doing that. the power head ball break. Actually, he's doing the box break. That's oh, that's going right in the drink. Straight back. He hit that right on the nose. Sorry about that dog in the score. Dog in the score. One to one, and it is absolute. This is as wide open as an eight ball rack as you could ask for. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. That's the five ball. I'm, I apologize, ladies. I keep looking at the wrong screen. Anytime there's balls at the uh, foot rail in the center, I can't see them, so I apologize. Well, you know, on a good note, if you take the 15 ball, you can always come over here and crash into the 5. I think, I, I honestly... Can you see a ball here? I guess he can. He's shooting this 15. Wow. I wasn't talking about right then. I'm talking about later. <laughs> wow. The table's still as wide open. Which, yeah. which balls do you like here? Well, I now I think I like... The now I like the little ones because you can you try can to draw into seven, this. Right. You can do anything here. Yeah, you just or yeah, you just draw that four ball. Is that the four or the eight? No, that's the four. It looks like the four. It, 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 wow, he's, he if did he's it. Clear here, but look, he saved himself. Oh no, and the five ball is <coughs> the seven straight in. Is it? And, and yeah. I think the five probably passes the ten. I didn't like the way he did that. I would no. I would have shot the four ball and drawn it. Yeah, it was a little loose. But, you know, like, what, what do we know? What do we know? <laughs> All right, he's still shooting, and he's got a shot to get out. Yes, he does, and he probably will. If he makes a seven, right? You're, you're saying the seven ball probably goes. I think this ball goes. He's looking at it like. The oh, seven ball goes straight in. The five ball looks like it goes as long as it passes the ten. It doesn't matter if it goes to the pocket. The pockets are so, uh, you know, have been accepted. Oh, that goes. I mean, you can drive a tractor trailer right. through there. Oh, that's in there. <coughs> well, he kind of messed himself a little here. You, I don't know if you can shoot the two ball now because now the 15 is going to do something with the five. Right. Well, he might as well just go careening. I wouldn't do it. I'd shoot the four. He's not even looking. This is the closer ball. I'm going to whack it, he says. I can see some funky shots going off, like two off the ten. This is a danger zone. Yeah. No, he's going to shoot your shot. Shoot the four ball. It's the right shot. Missed it. I mean, all, you One know, all stroke. he's got to do is shoot that and stop. Shoot the two ball over there and gain, you know, when he gets, if he makes that four. He shot the right ball, folks. I think he I shot the right ball. I think he shot the right ball also. He, get, he could get out if he makes that ball. Thirteen on the side. He can't keep on hitting balls. And this is what we talked about uh, earlier. When you get the opportunity like this, in order to get a hold of your emotions and all that, you really need to step up at the table and run cleanly. Once you start having to shoot combinations or banks or 80-degree you know, cut shots, it's no longer fun, and it doesn't do your psyche any good. By shooting this 10 ball, he's committed to go all the way out, which he should. And now the tough ball on the table looks to be the 14. And shooting no, here. No, no, you know what? He can play this. He can play to get on 
he the can play to get on oh, you, oh, behind the 10 or the 14. Goes Look. on that side. Let's see what he does because it looks to He's me that go if it was there. me shooting, I'd be shooting for the 10 ball in the corner pocket all the way. And that, and he shot your shot, 10 ball in the side pocket. Did he come up good? Perfect. Yeah, up there. Now he can just stun it a little bit, you know, maybe or roll it even and shoot the 14 in the side. Okay, we'll see if he does that. Or it looks like a couple he can of hit a little around. bit harder and go two or two rails around. Three rail, yeah, two or three rails. 14 and the get same. on the 14. Well, in he, the can side. See, he can see. Oh, the he's nine. shooting the nine. Oh, okay. I didn't know he could see that. I did not know he could see that. What does that mean? 14 in the side pocket or 10 in the corner. I'd right, say 14 in the side pocket. Slide it out. Yeah, game over. Well, something must be tricky here. He, he, he hasn't shot yet. He might be a little worried about getting on the wrong side of the 12. Which is the problem, again, uh, to beat the dead horse. Playing the ball in the side pocket is your last ball. Suddenly you have to get a little bit more exact on your angle. I yeah, he's going to go forward and make sure he... Uh, oh, my gosh, and, and, and that I, Really? And, <laughs> and I know it, he missed this ball, but what really, I think that really, again, uh, for those listening on the stream getting sick of me, but uh, because he didn't want to get that bad angle on that side pocket he decided to go forward and shoot the uh, 10 or 12 into the corner pocket and he missed the, the ball in the side pocket I mean I just can't tell you how painful that was I mean I've done it a million times I mean my heart bleeds for the guy right. and now it's uh, you know Nick's turn where once again you got to run clean you got to try to run clean on these uh, on these tables I know it, it can be done. You know, we had uh, Ray Linares, Raymond R Linares earlier on this same table, and he ran really clean. For the car? Yeah. Do you have the bananas in here? Give me some of those. back. Give me some more of those. I forgot we had these. I, th I think the, the problem here, Ted, at this table is, is they're just having such a tough time with the speed that it's taken something out of them. And we're talking about Brian Parks, who's a fantastic player. No, I think the four ball is a shot here. <laughs> I think so. Why not? You got to shoot the four. And the three's got to go now. Yeah, the only thing to guard against here is hitting this too hard and getting stuck behind, the, say, the 14 if he's going straight down the table. Or, <laughs> or uh, whatever that ball is, the 12. Holy mackerel. Bumper pull. <laughs> That could have gotten ugly really easily. <laughs> Tough table. Oh, wow. It looked like he might overcut, overcut that ball. Huh? He's going to shake his head a bit, but the ball's in. Teddy, you've got uh, you've got your website running. Do do people uh, can people make orders through the website or do they call you? Uh, <coughs> Nick won that game, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, the website is www.tedharris.com. T e d h a r r i s, like Sam. dot com. <laughs> And I'm also, you, you can get me on Facebook either through my personal page or the business page. Would you rather they called you directly to make an order or uh, uh, can that be done through? 
Well, I, I mean, I like to, I, I do like to talk to people. Um, you can feel free to call me at 754-246-6366, but, you know, I try to answer all the calls, but, I mean, we have, there's two of us in the shop now. Actually, there's three of us. We now have, a, like, an employee working there. Oh, is that right? Yeah, we have we have this kid that wants to learn how to play pool work, and so. All right. And he comes in on Tuesday and Thursday, but, um, you know, there's two of us in there, and <clears throat> Danny's always running some kind of loud machine, you know, like the dust collection <laughs> system right. or the table saws, turning shafts. There's always something going on in there, so I don't always hear the calls. All right. So definitely do not think that I am dodging you if I don't answer because I don't dodge anybody anymore ever. Excellent. And so, meanwhile, you know, if you contact me on Facebook or email poolcues at tedharris.com or through my website, I mean, you'll definitely be getting a response. Meanwhile, uh, when Nick broke, he broke exactly the same way as last time, and he drew the state, drew the ball, cue ball straight back uh, into the corner pocket as he did last time. So he's going to start aiming just a hair higher. Conditions always change, so always be prepared to change up your break. Balls are a bit tied up to 9-7. This is Brian shooting right now, shooting low balls, I think. I don't know oh, why he didn't crash into that 9 ball there, honestly. I don't know if he could have, but this is interesting because I... Th he, he, he could play short side and right, right. shoot it over there. Right. And that's probably what he was thinking. And if, if he gets the right angle, he can crash into that nine and then take the four ball out. And he's if he does that, he's out. If he gets right. down below the below seven the ball seven, here, he's the nine he's out. As, a, as a stopper. It's a it's a winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> there you go, it's a slow roll. Yeah, it's perfect. He got exactly he got where it. he needed there. As long as he doesn't drive the nine into the three ball. Or the eight. You know, you don't want to block the eight ball. I right, mean, you correct. don't want to block the path of that eight. Correct. That's the one I'd be. I'd just roll this ball forward. I wouldn't exactly. even. Exactly. It may not even hit the nine. That's yeah. Right. Perfect. Game one, over. Right, Checkmate. One, one rail out for the three ball because he still has the one ball up table, but it uh, looks like he solved, solved the problem here. Yeah, but, you know, you don't want to roll too far here either. Then you get on the wrong side of the three. Well, if you get on the wrong side, you can still go forward, but he, he's good. Oh, he good. got he's perfect. Good. He's starting to get the table. He got perfect. Yeah, on a shot like uh, this, I, I like to get, you know, me personally, I'd want to get above the one, but might, he might not have the angle, so... You know, and then you come up short of the one by like 30 degrees or something like that, so you can play the one railer. You don't want to be straight. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Good. That's good. Perfect. 24 degrees. <laughs> right to the center of the table. You expect this to be just at the center of the table. Just at the center of the table. He should make this, but it is a little longer than I expect it to be. Nice. That's a nice out. Nice clean out. We got a tie game here, folks. You can see a head shake from Brian. He yeah, it looks saying like that he got a little bit of uh, uh, speed control. He's still getting there, but he looked good still. Yeah, it looks like he's loosening up a little bit, getting comfortable. Right. And the back-to-back -back, uh, scratches on the break by, by Nick. Um, isn't going to do him any favors. Obviously with the eight ball, as big as he was breaking them, he had an opportunity to break and run that rack if he didn't scratch. I believe Brian broke a second ball last time, maybe. He's going to do it again. Last time the balls flowered out and the nothing kicked the eight. Eight ball came straight out of the rack, uh, crawled forward by about six inches and didn't get hit. Second ball break, eight ball the break would count here. There's eight ball floating out the same way as it did last time. 
Did the ball go in? Because it's pretty open. I think he made a small one. Oh, no. One, two, two three, three, four, three, four five, five. No, six, why, it's wide open. It's well, you got to take the small you balls. Hit the small balls. Unless the 13 squeezes <laughs> that, that'd be between the 8 and the lot. 10. <laughs> that'd be asking a lot for the 13 to go off. Shooting the six ball in the corner pocket. I think the two ball is the is uh, is the game ball, so to speak. The conversion. <laughs> That's right. Look at this. Perfect. Well, he, how you know, sweet that is. The wrist flick tells me that he was trying to go on the other side of the four ball. <laughs> well, it just worked out to be perfect. You know, if he shoot, he can. He if he shoots the f if he can make the four, he's on the two. Yeah. It looks like he's going to shoot the two. Too. It looks like that was the toughest ball on the table yeah, because and just he's floats it. No, he's shooting the oh, four. Oh, the four. Sorry, the four is right there. Four to the and two. And then he's probably just going to draw it, right? Oh, I, wow. I get, he didn't draw I get it. confused with what's the four, what's the two, what's the eight, what's the seven. <laughs> he's shoot, know, shooting the lows to get to the next low to get to the next low. I didn't really like that. Sorry. Is he I, I would have drawn it. And just sucked it into the 15 Into the 15, ball. make sure you have an angle. Yeah, because, wow, I mean, you're talking about an area there. Of right, because now he has to do that. It'll power, power out. Yeah, now he's out of line. Yeah. He's working it. Now he's got to he's got to shoot the 7 in the corner because you don't want to crash into any of his ball. I mean, you don't know what's going to, you know. Either cut the 1 in. Well. I think he's going to play that 4 in the corner and just slide straight across Is and that the 1. That's a 7, I think. We can call it four all day long. <laughs> is it a <laughs> four? No, oh, it is a four. It could be the four. It could be the seven. It's one of those balls that happens to be dark. <clears throat> I would definitely not cut this in the side. No chance, no how, no way. Yeah, especially on these on these tables, the pockets are, are, are very forgiving. Still, they're tightening up, but they're still forgiving. So you just put your ability to work, pop the four, Slide out. He's going into the middle of all these balls. Well, well, what's the next shot? I think you got to shoot the five and then the three up here. Problem is that eight ball likes to go in the side pocket. I mean, you could shoot the one and draw it over and back, and then just shoot the three and stop it. You know, I, I would. I think I would cut the five in the left hand corner myself. And play position on the three ball. Well, those would be the two choices, one ball or the, or the five ball. And, you know, if he shot the one ball, I can't blame him because if he makes the one, he's thinking that's the easier easier out. No way. If he makes the one. <laughs> so that's what's on his mind right now, I believe. I think he's worried about how he's going to get on the eight if he has to shoot the one last. Uh, well, that's right. That's exactly why I'm saying that he'd go to the one now because that's the easiest way to get out. Well, he did it. And he did and it. And he can pinch this pinch ball. Pinch the good. ball. All right. I mean, really, you could even draw it back just a hair and and shoot the five in and send the cue ball off the end rail and... It's going to be a little dicey getting on the 8. Yeah, he's got two ways to go because the 8 goes in both side pockets. So you may just say, well, I'll just make this ball. If I have any angle, then I'm, I'll fight to, for the 8 ball either into the right right uh, side pocket. And if he's over the 5 ball, it'll be the left side of the pocket. And this one, it looks like it can follow. I mean, it's what, not, not go to over here and shoot the 8 over there? Yeah, not to say that it's easy, but he's kind of just left that choice, you know. Let's say you were on the one ball instead trying to get the eight ball. <laughs> you know, I think you'd rather be here shooting at this five to get to the eight ball into the side pocket versus shooting at the one ball getting to no pocket. One rail up, eight ball in the side pocket. Heinous cut. He's going to really shake his head here, but at least he's shooting at it. <coughs> and he's going to have to crash into other balls. Right. Right. I mean... It looks like that angle, you know, you can hit the 15 and scratch in the corner over here. Or you can try to hit it with inside English 
and go here and but crash into the 11 eat, but but then you're you know you can who knows what could happen my feeling is he's just going to go cut it in the cue ball will go one two three four rails come around and it, it won't scratch because there's other balls in the way four Stri rails yeah here we he's go he's not hitting this ball that hard let's count the rails one oh we overcut it by well that's disappointing well, because it I didn't told you <laughs> i told you it wasn't any good shooting that one ball first I would rather have the one ball where you could have shot it with right hand English and just thrown it over there and shot it in the side. But you know, hey, everybody plays different. Everybody plays different. I'm just saying. In I knew what he's I, playing, and I I'm knew what, in a chair. I knew what he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's about all I can say. It really, it probably was a good way to do it. He did everything right. He just didn't hit that ball just quite hard. Quite enough. hard if enough. He got another inch or two. He would have been. Yeah, because he, he was in play for quite a distance, but he just barely got into play with that cue ball to the the side pocket. The eight ball. Where's like the chat? I, I lost the chat here. It, it disappeared on me. I hope we're still going. Oh, he's got logged out. JR did. All right, guys, we're not ignoring you in the chat. We just we got cut off. What can I tell you? Well, meanwhile, Brian's got up to wide open rack. I'm saying it's wide open, but because those balls kind of chilling out in the center of the, the table, it, it ends up being, um, you know, you have to be a little more precise. Do you go two rails towards the nine on this or two back two rails towards the, whatever that ball's in the side pocket? I say you go here, here, and shoot that, and then that, and then the nine in the side. Yeah. Now he might just go ahead and roll forward and shoot the nine after this. You know, he if might he roll, slide. roll forward and crash into that tent, whatever that ball is. Does or he, if he can get by it, go by go, it. Then shoot on the other side. Oh, wow, he's doing it the way I said first. <laughs> I didn't think he had the right I, angle. I didn't either. I didn't either. I thought he had too much angle and, on and, that. And honestly, I mean, I know he's going to make this look easy, but it wasn't that easy. You know, just kind of slow roll balls like this on this table for, you know, one foot type of position in the middle of the table. That kind of got a little funny. Yeah, as it normally does when when you're shooting balls in the now side pocket. Now he's going to have to shoot it in that corner. That's right. Just pinch this and stun. Boom. And he's getting farther and, and farther did, away. Yeah. And if he had it the other way, he could have just rolled forward an inch or two and shot it in the other corner. Right. But he's out. He should be out. You'd, you'd rather be just, you know. It's all good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. And pumps it in. Three to two, Brian takes the lead and he will be breaking again. Now it's a nine ball, is that correct? Yes, it is. Yes, we're playing nine ball. And Brian's breaking, man, wow. Now when you saw him in the past, Teddy, he's been a, you saw him playing nine ball? Uh, you know, I don't, honestly, I mean, I didn't even remember. He <laughs> had I mean, honestly, I didn't even remember. You what, know? Was he playing pool? Yeah, he said he was. Like, wait a second, he was bowling. He said he was, <laughs> but I, I don't even remember, you know. Because, I mean, come on, man. I was like this little fish <laughs> at hard times, and all these world champions are like, you know what I mean? I'm not remembering guys like, you know, all me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or not, I mean, he's, you know, better than me now, but, you know, back then it was probably, you know, an even match. Sure. You seem to be. There you go. All right. Brian's up three to two. Let's see some. Uh, and you'll notice uh, that the uh, the guy playing in the next table has his shirt tucked in. Not from Florida. <laughs> <coughs> Let's get a little view of that real quick. <laughs> yeah, see the yellow shirt tucked in? Yeah, yeah. Not, not from Florida. I mean, that's... <laughs> Cut break. Did two balls go in? One, two, three, four. Oh, right, there's a ball down here. Kind of uh, 
instead of going to the center of the table, the cue ball went back toward the rack. Oh, tough, you got a tough wing first it. shot. Yeah, I you think so. Wing it Why this not? Ball. This is free, right? Yeah, and you know what? You don't shoot it in the right side. I mean the left. left. You shoot yeah. it in the right. One, two, three. And you come Naturally around, around the five. five. Yeah, and you come back around the five. And you make sure you hit it on the professional side. So if you miss, oh, he's shooting in the left corner. Well, can he get there? Yeah, I guess he it's can thin get enough, there, yeah. but and he can actually get on. If he hit it come. hard enough, he could have got on the two and not had to do the combo. I think that's what he was trying to do. That's a good shot right there. <coughs> that's a very good shot. Yeah, as a left-hander, this is a good shot for him. Yeah, he's uh, game over. Up and down the table. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, not too strong here. He's got a bump. Oh, good. Bump. No. And he's, uh, it, the, the, the speed and the cushions. Ro no do <laughs> uh, Game over might be right. Hey, you guys are going to have to give me a little break out there, man. I'm on Zycam and uh, <laughs> Halls and... Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be Busenic, like... Busenick, so I'm getting a little loopy on you. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, so what's he doing here, Teddy? You know, he's aiming uh, as if he's already going to shoot this three ball someplace. Three rails around, two rails, three rails around. Well, kicking I the three ball up table. Well, I think probably what he's going to do is shoot over by the side pocket and use a lot of draw and shorten the angle up. Oh, he's going beyond them. Looks no. like he's going three rails. Oh, I don't know. I don't like that. I mean, I guess it's bigger if you go three rails. It's probably bigger, but I would have just drilled it, you know. With One rail across and just yeah, smash just at it. Yeah, throw right into it. Well. But he didn't, miss it. he didn't miss it by much. Can't ask for much better if you have ball in hand uh, with, uh, you know, six balls left on the table. Other than the fact that I don't know which ball is what. I'll tell you how sick I am, folks. I bought a box of Puffs Plus today at like noon, and it's the whole box is gone already. It's a good thing I did a shot of uh, CC today, or else I'd be fearful of getting sick, too. It's cough medicine. Is that the four ball in the center of the yeah, table, or is that the seven? shots of something all night. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the four balls up there. <laughs> He's not shaking his head, so he didn't get too straight. He's going to pound this. Good shot. Just slow roll this ball one rail off. Yeah, that was a big, that was a big swing. Huge, because right it was... Uh, Pretty wide open. Yeah, that was a big swing. Made, right made that one. Where's this uh -oh, going? Oh, wrong side of the ball. <coughs> well, it might have worked out perfect. Do you think he was playing it? I mean, he hit it so hard that no. he couldn't possibly be playing in the no, side pocket. He threw his hands up. Yeah. Sure, it wasn't the head shake. He's <laughs> the hand, the the head shake, got the it all going on. What's the trick to getting sound? Hitting the mute button. You don't want to hear. <laughs> no, that's what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hear what me? No, somebody's saying what's the what's the trick to getting the sound? He mustn't have sound. And I just assume then that you know his speakers aren't on or. Are we? Do we? Something. Are they've been? There's, they haven't been listening all this time. No, they've been listening. <laughs> they've been listening. He uh, Jr. got logged off on the chat. Oh, Ted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Coughing right in my ear. I'm sorry. You can thank Raymond for that one. Yeah. Well, he got out. Seven balls in the middle of the table, and he got there. I mean, I, I have to believe he was shooting for the seven in the side pocket, but he was so far... Yeah, well, it didn't. It didn't get at the fifty-yard line. You know what yeah, I mean? It, it for rolled on for to the sure. next shot. Right. <laughs> so he got a little lucky there, I think. Yeah. And it uh, looks like Brian's having trouble racking the balls now. 
Yeah, I would too after that. <laughs> Just slow it down. And this will be the first uh, first time that Nick has broken nine ball in this set. You expect him to go to the side rail. He was breaking from the center for the eight ball. <coughs> breaking from the box, baby. Oh, he is breaking from the box. Wow. Nothing. Maybe. It's, look at that ball still spinning, too. <coughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, he broke from the box and uh, he got punished for it, but... Oh, no balls in the break. Well, you got to just, just, you know, you, you know, you just thin the one ball here and send the cue ball up the table behind the 5-6. Yeah, there's no point in even trying to make the ball because even if you bank it in, what are you going to do with the two ball? Yeah, you're out. Oh, he, right. I think, you know what? He's going to play the nine ball, too. He's going to play the safe and make the nine. I like it. He's going to hit he's going to take a stab at the nine ball here. And it's a pretty good, you know, it could be a pretty good save. But you know what? I'm going to guess that if he does it, the one ball's going to end up over on the other side of the table. Well, he went for it and he had yeah, a lot of balls to hide. Well, he he had a lot of balls to hide her up behind. So he might have got uh, lucky. I think he got lucky there. Well, I'm not buying that story. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He hit it bad, missed the nine by a mile. Right. Well, I'd say... And the, two, and the one might actually go. Well, then I'd say he got unlucky. It <laughs> might actually... <laughs> he he, he might, might actually be able to squeeze the cue ball by the three. And just stop it. And just stop it. Or he can just elevate and jump right over it. I don't know. It, it looks... Let's see what's happening here. He hasn't even looked twice at it. This ball goes straight in. Stop the cue ball. One in the corner pocket. Oh, he missed it. And he tried to make the seven at the same time. We've seen that an awful <coughs> lot. Uh, Ted. We've seen that an awful lot where if the ball was tight to the pocket, people have stepped right up there thinking it, it went, and I don't recall one that it actually went. <laughs> I mean, he stepped to that like it had a clear pocket, right? Yeah, it did. It was. He, he missed it. Not going to make this ball. Wow. Tried to play the 1 7 combination and didn't make the ball. And th you know, both these guys, again, and it seems to be the recurring theme, there is a struggle that's happening on this table, and I don't think it's the lights. I think it's the fact that they're on, you know, TV. The feature table? You got it. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding, ding tell him yeah. what he's won, Johnny. <laughs> it's a tough shot. The one ball is now in so buried in there you'd like to be able to get the cue ball below this 8-3 uh, pair well you just you got to go off the rail that's yeah, all there yeah. is to that you got to go off that bottom right rail. but the one is so buried that there's two and, wow <laughs> and again that's what i was talking about it's so deep in there and he didn't Fred even Agnew. look <laughs> tell you what, he didn't Freddy. even <laughs> he didn't even look to see where exactly <laughs> that one ball sat he fired at it and from way back here, it looked like it, it didn't come close to hitting it, but the one ball was fairly deep in there. Wow, that's amazing. Don't hit the nine. He's going to just freeze on this cushion. Boom, very good. And the two three sets up nice. There's no uh, discussion point here. He's got to be on one side of the three ball in order to make the three ball on the side that pocket. That side of the three ball. Right. Oh, oh, my, my God. goodness. He is there, a f is there another ball that I don't see out there? Oh, my gosh, man. Really? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be disgusted with himself. Really, wow, there's he is. He did the old head and shake, and now he's down there, you know, scratching his neck. I just got down sa done saying that the 2-3 sit really nicely because there's no question where you need to have, <laughs> need to have the, the two ball. What side of the three ball after making the two ball? And now, there really isn't a place he can. He can't even do a deep draw on this. Yeah, I think he can draw it back and just take the shot on the rail. But then he's got to do something silly with the cue ball. You right. know, then he's got to send the cue ball like up and down. 
I mean, I think he can come back here, but wow. Maybe you just take your lumps and uh, cut the three ball somewhere else and have the cue ball come down here. He could just jack straight up in the air and mass a, you know, <laughs> left hand English it right into the, you know, and snap the cue ball over there, but he's see not going to do see that. See how he's aiming. The cue ball's going absolutely the other way. He banked the ball. Come on. He was trying to. Did he, he do that intentionally? He can't. He couldn't have been. <laughs> Why couldn't he? I don't I have no idea. <laughs> he well, he, he hit it pretty good. <laughs> there was no apologies. There were no apologies, so he's Look coming off the it. rail wow, on that. Man. See, in that one, he he shook <coughs> his stick because he, he got a little tough. thick. Wow. Now he's got to be careful. Now he's got to draw it. I I because can't wait to see that shot, shot again on the uh, on the replay. I can't believe he's shooting this ball with top English. Oh, I thought it was a scratch, man. One, two, three around, but if Look he gets this. frozen on the cushion, he's not going to be able to uh -oh. dig at it. Uh, uh, front row. He's just going to be shaking even more. And this guy is a, I mean, this guy is a champion, and he's struggling mightily. Jack it up. Oh, he's out. Pound away. Okay, so I figure this out, Teddy, is that every time you say this game is over or something like that, <laughs> the guy misses. Anybody, you know? <laughs> really? That, so far, I think that's three times this set. <laughs> well, he's just pumping this ball in and sending the cue ball, you know, up up and down and straight in on the nine. Are you saying this game is over? Over. Oh, no, he's going to draw goes, it. He's going to follow. He's following. Does that follow? Sure. Has to be. Yeah. There you go. Know. <clears throat> the spike is out. Wow. The commentator's curse. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I could. I suppose I could be a jinx. <laughs> oh. Well. What's the score now? It's it's four to three. Nick Connors. I really don't know what to say about that that last rack. Uh, Brian is uh, I'm not happy with himself right now. I can't wait to see this match again. I know we're recording this, but that bank, and he didn't even flinch when after he made it. You know, I. <laughs> I don't think he was playing that There's shot. There's no way, right? He was just trying to go with one, two, three rails around to get on the five ball. And maybe if he actually cut it into the side pocket like he was intending, he wouldn't have gotten straight into the five. He wouldn't have had to short kick to get the five and get bad on the six. I don't know. Yeah, he is on here, folks. And it, it's not coming from the sun. <laughs> has Raymond Linares won this thing yet? Yes, he has. Raymond has won this. 2010. 2010. Raymond's also the two-time ACUI champion, so he's got three national championships. Well, he won back-to-back -back the ACUI championship. I hope he has because I've been saying it all day, but I looked it up. <laughs> <coughs> both guys are, are take looks like they're both taking a break, which sounds like a great idea. Yeah, let me go check my cues, I'll be right back. Five second break here. Yeah. Taking a break in the action.
little quick interview with Brian Parks on the bank and the three ball, um, and he said he, he did. That's why he agonized so long. He actually had to bank the three because he had no angle to try to cut the ball into the side pocket and go around. He had to actually cut the three ball enough, and he said he's gonna just going to bank it and takes it, take his lumps because he knew the cue ball was going to come down table. And, uh, and then, of course, he came up with a short kick and kicked it shallow. Both players are, are saying that uh, that table, the balls coming off the cushions are confusing both of them so much that it's, it's really uh, it's difficult for them both out there. They're both struggling. Both these guys are very, very good players. So that's what's happening. Both of them, uh, both of them are struggling uh, with the, the balls coming off the cushions. <laughs> Just talked to both of them, Teddy. Yeah, I just talked to both uh, both the guys. Uh, interviewed them in the uh, in the men's room because that's exactly <laughs> what, what happens. But both of them uh, are, are talking about how how tough it is out there. The balls are sliding when the cue ball is coming off the cushions and not coming off off right. And Brian says he absolutely was banking that ball. He couldn't hit it straight into the side pocket. He was too straight, and he couldn't get the cue ball anywhere. And uh, he said he, he had to just go ahead and try to fire the bank and go around the, around the world. So now we know. I don't have to watch it again. Wait a minute, hold on. You followed them in the bathroom and interviewed them in the bathroom. Hey, you know... I mean, you, you know what? You are a hell of a journalist. Journalism, you know, <laughs> journalism at its best right there. You know, if it was a woman, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. Well, the t two rails around, going for the th for three, but you know wow, the nine ball is going to get in the way. I mean, the, the cushions oh are just... Uh, and that ball slid, dude. You could see it. I mean, you could it, just it see it. It was spinning sliding. Yeah. I mean, that was... I mean, wow. This is just torture. It is... Um, it's going to be a war of nutri uh, nutrition. Attrition. <laughs> <laughs> the war of nutrition. That's what I need. That's that's a beautiful one right there. One rail across just to, just to survive this. I like just smashing this hard just to just to get my uh, frustration out. That was a very clean looking shot. And he's gonna get away with it unless the three eight is a uh, is on. Well, I think the three's dead in the right hand corner. Yeah, you can shoot straight into straight that into ball it. with draw, and the three goes dead in the corner, and you draw the cue ball back for the four. Ship it. Ship it. <laughs> nah, he's trying to figure out how to play a safe. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe to the right side of the three and come down behind the five, six. I might have to shoot the three in the right-hand corner. I mean, I'm not kidding. He's looking at He's it now. He's looking at it. He's certainly looking at it. I, I, I might send it. He's sending it. He's shipping it. Uh, I think he's going to the right side of three. Going, oh. Oh, he's just... Uh, no, this one doesn't get anywhere. Oh. Wow. Well. We need the excitement here. I think he needs to play that. If he's going to shoot it like that, shoot the three off the eight, like he said, Teddy, and see what happens. But, uh, you know, uh, more importantly, I know that both of these guys have no feeling for the table right now. Yeah, and they're probably, I mean, just shooting the ball like this, he's probably, you know, sweating it. Right. And as you said, I mean, <coughs> look at that. He almost, uh, I almost, mean, went too far. Went too far. This might go too far. He's going to be right on top of it. <coughs> Tight quarters here. Punch this in. Might as well just stop it. You hate to have the cue ball go anywhere. As he does. Yet at this stage, you want this cue ball dead straight on the eight for a stop shot. Not quite, and he's got the wrong side of the ball, so wrong he's, he's floating, floating and hoping. Uh, 
probability. Now he's just got to drill it. Yeah, I mean, if he chooses to go all the way down, which is the right thing to do. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to shoot it in the corner. Oh, no, yeah. It definitely looked like he was... Either way, I guess. Either way, he had to shoot it harder than he needed to. Well, Brian Parks uh, has tied it up. We're flipping coins here to get to the end. 44. You see that what he's doing up there? I know it, 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 you're not allowed to practice, but he's just seeing what happens when you bounce the cue ball off the cushion. Both of these guys said the same thing, that uh, they were having to <coughs> the cue balls coming off the cushion. Oh, my throat. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late now. That's all right. Breaking from the box. Too late what? To get rid of me? Uh, to, to not get sick from Ted Harris coughing <laughs> all over me. We're all going to miss work next week. <laughs> That's right. Start taking that Zycam. I've got it in my bag if you want me to get it. Yeah, and that worked out for you? Well, you know what? It, it, it is going to work out. I'm telling you. I mean, you, you, just, you have to know how sick I get when I get <laughs> sick to know that this really isn't that sick because I'm still sitting here. I mean, when I catch a cold, I might be sick for two or three weeks because I have chronic bronchitis. Is that right? <laughs> and I'm, I, I've already feel that it's getting better. So almost straight in the one ball. I think he's got enough angle just to punch this out. Oh, I guess he was dead straight. So he's going for the 2-7. I assume he's going for the 2-7 combination. I think that's the seven. Sometimes this gets to be a little tricky. He's going to lose the cue ball one way. He's got to make sure that he's got an angle on the two ball after this combination. And he was dead straight, so he's playing for that two ball Played inside. Dead. Very nice. That one can be screwed up very easily a lot. The three ball doesn't pass the nine, so I don't think he's playing for a three nine combination. Well, maybe he is. Maybe he is. I think that was a little out there. This is quite a long combination to be shooting at four to four. But you might as well shoot this one rather than having the cue ball hit a cushion. Pump. The spike is out. Spike at home. That's the secret. Don't let the cue ball Don't go you have anywhere. A control function you can do that with. Can you make them <laughs> with a Mac? You could just like control A or something. <laughs> or the plus button <laughs> yeah or something simple something simple why don't you do it i don't know i wouldn't uh, you know it's been a long time since he's done anything with uh, anything like that visual oh, basic or something get like off that, the I stall think. man <laughs> don't be acting like you don't know how to do it <laughs> <laughs> there's probably like 12 people on the stream here the chat that know how to do something like that Break from the same spot. This is a typical box break. If you played in the Joss Tour or something like that. Oh, he scratched. And look at this. Look at the position of the balls here. Uh, I might have to shoot the nine ball. Why not? If, if it passes the four... Well, for sure, if it doesn't pass the four, you play the two, three, and then carom because the the carom looks dead on. You could do that too. Yeah, but why wait until tomorrow? What you can do today? Right. But the two does. <laughs> the two may not pass the four, and I don't think it caroms. I think it does, but I think he wants to do it the way you're talking about. He wants to play the four nine. Yeah. It's just too risky. Oh my goodness. Now he can't play it. Oh yeah, he can. 
He can draw it over to the rail. I guess, but he's got to go all the way to the rail and back if he's going to play a, a carom. No. And you know what? He might even be able to just like slow roll it or just pop it just a little bit and stun it over. He's just breaking him out. Oh, wow, man. Really? It is Holy a, smoke. It's, it's a struggle. I can't believe he did that. It is a struggle because we've seen Nick now on a couple of – he's been on the stream before. It's not It's not like he can't make that ball. You know, I mean, this table is taking him right out of – Right out of his head. Is he playing a safe here? Or is he going to no, shoot? He's shooting. Shot to nowhere. No, I, I don't think they've reached the point yet where safety is the only option. <laughs> 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 that might be coming, though, in the it next game coming. or two. I mean, it's, our, it's five to four. Uh -oh, what? point do we go <laughs> when the other guy is on the hill mm. <laughs> <laughs> well jacked up here he's he's playing safe I mean I, how can he how can he shoot at something here no that he's got to shoot the cue ball I'll tell a funny story while he's examining this up uh, I was in a league uh, match one time and there was a new player and She'd asked, she said, uh, if she could play a combination, you know, seven into the nine type of thing. And we all said, of course you can, you know. So she shot the seven into the nine. Cue ball wasn't even in play. She shot the seven straight into the nine. Oh. <laughs> 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 This is tricky here. Yeah, I mean, he's jacked up. He's he's trying to play a a, a safety that requires cushions with a cue ball, and and the table has not been answering the call at, at any shot here. I mean, if he's actually shooting the three ball into a pocket, there's nowhere for the cue ball to go that he he has control over. Well, he's trying to he's trying to block the three, yeah, block yeah, everything with the seven. I mean, all he's, he, he's, he's left, you know, distance, but. Yeah, and you know what? If the guy makes a three ball, game over. Game over, yeah. It, it is tough because these both these guys are, are very good players. And, you know, Brian Parks is a former champion, uh, U.S. amateur champion. And, and uh, it, it almost looks like they're both still struggling with the, with the table, the speed, the sliding, the cloth. Slow rolling it from that distance. Nicely Game done. Over. Nicely done. Cue ball can't Maybe. help. The cue ball can't help but finding the, the, you know, the side rail. There must be a lot of pressure playing on that TV table. I, I have a feeling right now that they com oh have completely gosh. forgotten that there's a, a TV uh, Wrong camera. Wrong side of the ball. I think they're both just trying to figure out how to get a control of the of the of the table. He's gonna is he shooting this all the way up and no. just sliding across? I believe he I is. I don't know what it, it, it. I don't know. Oh no, he's wow, oh, wow, and, and this will never stay in play, will it? Yes. Wow, he hit that ball. He hit that really one a good. ton. He hit that one a ton. He hit that ball good. It almost felt, you know, that was like a. I am so frustrated. I'm just gonna blast this one type of shot. He did. Very nicely done. Don't get. Well, if he's straight, Don't. I guess he's okay. But if he's just off to the left side of the line, he's going to have to do something funkalicious. Beautiful. Game over. Teddy's trying to put as much jinx as he can on him, apparently. He's got Even an angle. I couldn't jinx this. <laughs> he's got an angle. <laughs> Unless it was me shooting. Yeah. Bounce off the rail, very nicely done. Got a man on the hill. I gotta still go look back at the five ball in the side pocket. As f I mean, he just flamed that one. I like 
the other one for a break. Oh, I got you. Got gotcha. <laughs> All right, let's see if uh, he's going to break and run out on the hill. Break from the same spot, and he scratched last time, didn't he? I believe yeah. he scratched the side pocket that last side. time. That's right. He didn't more scratch control that there. Time. Ball got bumped out. Did, did the ball go in? No, he didn't make a ball. Nothing. Oh, and he's not going to like he's this He's not going to be liking coming up in a second. Well, this is uh, even I can make this safety. Cue ball should be completely locked on, on the two ball. Oh, apparently not. That was better. That was probably better. He mustn't have had the s angle that I thought he had. And there is no one rail kick. There's too many balls in the way. Here goes Brian again, thinking that he's just going to shoot the one ball in the seven, and nobody will notice. Is that the building vibrating? <laughs> Maybe the train's going by. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that's wow. what it is. So that really is the roof vibrating. Yeah, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the <laughs> the bleep, the bleep, 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 bleep. Burn. Kicking two rails. <laughs> Ball in hand. And it is uh, pretty open. One ball in the side pocket or the corner pocket. I'd be putting in the side unless it's too sharp of an angle. And it's not. Well, it's another one of those racks, Teddy, that it looks like there really isn't any problem. But right off the bat, this one, you know, it looks like he's... He's already in trouble. He's already in trouble. A little too straight. I mean, he'll get well, there, he'll but get he's there, doing but more than, than the run out called for. Yeah, see, now's where it gets dicey. Right, because now he had to play it here and, you know, draw it I mean, low left hand English to the, to the center of the table. Probably go a little too far, he won't be in the center. Yeah, get on the other side Wrong side again. Right, because when you double the double the corner here, uh, you, you have to accept the longer shot in the five. And, you know, two rails to the center. Uh, you know what? You can Two rails, two to, rails the to the center. center. I mean, if you shoot that ball and you try to get below the eight, which is stupid anyway, because it it's looks hard like to get on. He's drawing to the side. Yeah, uh, I'm not thrilled with that, but he's. You yeah, know, he's. That's what he likes to do. He, we've game seen him, over. We've seen him uh, do that stroke uh, a couple times now. Float, follow. I see him loading up with inside English. I don't think he needs to. And this cue ball is getting away from him. Look at this. <laughs> There's the old hand flick. Yeah, the hand flick. That Freddie that's coined. It. That's right. That's uh, that's my best move. Now you just take it here. Just float it and take it. Yeah, he, he just made this so tough. Even though it's pretty easy, but, you know, he's down. Oh, and the ball. You know, if he didn't hit it so thick, he wouldn't be on here. He wouldn't be on this. Perfect. Part, yeah. <laughs> Good shot. And he was right to not play it to the rail. And he gets out. 65. 65. And he's breaking, so, you know, normally when you're playing nine ball, the break is worth a, worth a game. So it's virtually tied. Virtually tied. Got bad on the six, but he pumped it in. Uh, 
Yeah, I say he was right not to play it to the rail because they've been having problems with... The, both players have been having a problem bouncing off the rail. Uh, I think the normal play would have been to bounce it off the rail, playing the ball in the side pocket, but both players have have shown that they're having problems with this particular table going off the cushion. So that's why I say it's, uh, he, he was right to not go off the cushion. Do a little stun shot, snookerish shot. <sighs> guys are taking a break again. How many breaks do they get to take? Okay, I just saw uh, Nick running, coming back. There we go. So Nick Connor is breaking down six to five. I can't remember where Nick is breaking from, to tell you the truth. He's breaking from the box. He is. I know that um, Brian has been. Side rail. What's oh oh did um, did Brian go take a break as well? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Raftile. <laughs> I just read what you read, and of course nobody's going to understand because I'm not going to repeat this, but if this guy was in it, it wouldn't end until 4 a.m. because he's such a slow player. Uh -oh. There's the break. One ball went somewhere, probably in the side pocket. Shaking his head. At, I, I don't know why. Is that the... Oh, that's the two ball way down there. Once again, I got, I got hooked by the uh, production... <laughs> oh, I, and yeah, Raftile, I, I, I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. There are some uh, slow players out there. Yeah, Greg Fix. So there you go. There's Mark a, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy doesn't care. He's just gonna throw them out there. <laughs> uh, I saw them two play a match that lasted four hours. Yikes. So Nick pushed out to that spot, and it, it, you know it wasn't a, you know it, I don't I wouldn't say it was a very good push out. You need to have some kind of room to give at least an idea of, of shooting it. But look at this! What a wow. shot! He was cutting that ball, wasn't he? <laughs> you know, it's actually a pretty a pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty pretty basic kick. Yeah, but it, was he actually doing that? I I'd, I'd love to see what that shot looked like again. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like and and. My angle is funky. I didn't think he was actually playing that shot. I'll remember this. Where's the referee? They gotta be looking at the shot. Bad hit. <laughs> the referee says bad <coughs> hit. There's a chance this this could be double hill match. Well sure. It's it's got uh it's a ball in hand. Two passes. All right, what's the over and under? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, how many shots are they going to get from here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord, they're going to get more shots. Yeah, because the two apparently does not go. He sticks his ball here. If he didn't See, now stick this is not a good safe. No. I'm sorry, it's not. That two ball should be down here. Right. And the cue ball, if you're going to be playing a ball in, hand, ball in hand safety like that, the cue ball has to be frozen against the the, uh, the object ball, or else you get the one rail kick. Yeah, not you only that, when you kick this ball, if you hit it on the good side, you can hit it on this right. side and go down here with the cue ball. I mean, there's just yeah. there's too many ways to get safe. Right. That's and it right. didn't happen, but... 
Right. If he'd have hit it a little thicker, that two ball would have been over behind that seven, and he sure. would have been safe. So the two things to do I'm, to I'm think about on a shot like this, especially with ball in the end, stick the cue on the three and stand, send the two ball farther, farther down. The one rail kick ends up being... Yeah, that, I'm sorry, easy, that was not a good save. On the other hand, you know, uh, the end result is going to be that Nick has a shot, made the shot, and now he's uh, he's off to the races. Yep. But uh, that's how it rolls. That's how it rolls. Wow, we got us a double hill match. Teddy, it's, we got a long way to go here before that. We could say that. <laughs> but keep on saying it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, unless he just flat out dogs it. Well, even <laughs> even a shot like this can't gets funky on this table. Follow two rails is the normal shot. He's got to get straight, and he didn't. You see him take a step there? Look, look. Uh -oh. He's on the wrong side of the six. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, it's so tough. You know, now you, you just float this and hope that you don't get quite... Yeah, you just slow roll this, don't you? I don't know. You might just jam it. Just jam it in the hole and... And he is a he is an aggressive shooter. We've yeah, he does. That. He likes that shot. Yeah. I'm slow rolling this and, and take it because you're gonna have an angle. You need an angle on your seven anyway. Well, you don't need one, but yeah, but here it is. Pump pumpalicious. Perfect. He's over. <laughs> perfect meaning he's got to back cut this ball and be. <laughs> the eight ball's hanging. So, it's perfect. Right? He likes sliding with inside too. So. Wowzers. Okay, I'm going to say it. We got the double hill. This is what we all come here That's for, right. folks. No matter what happened before, as far as I'm concerned, we had 12 break and runs in a row, and now we're heading for the last rack. Double hill, Brian Parks, and Nick... Connors. Connors. Double hill. Somebody's got to go. There you go. I think they should just back it and jack it. What? <laughs> Somebody's going down this game. Well, and that's part of the game. There we go. We are at a hill hill matchup here. That's at what we want to see. We're rooting for both players. <laughs> this is what it's all about here, everybody. I mean, we're at the 2012. U.S. Amateur Championships, and we got a double hill match going here with a former champion and somebody that's trying to be one now. Double hill, and the the guy that's trying to be the trying to be the champion of the tournament's breaking the balls. Well, what I can say here for sure, somebody that's wearing black pants and a black shirt is going to win this match. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, he wears he uses a number two razor. All right. I can keep on going. And look at the gentleman racking the balls double hill, yeah. trying to give the guy a good rack. Yeah, he's trying to make sure that that rack is as best as he can so that nothing goes in. That's the mark of a good person. <laughs> That's right. He doesn't want to end this on the slug. Brian is not a basketball player either. Uh, I tower over him, I believe. So when he leans over like that, his back is going to start hurting. He's like the only guy in the room shorter than me. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm usually the shortest and the fattest, but I'm not the <laughs> fattest anymore. <laughs> but I still have to live with the short. <laughs> not much I can do about that. Boy, this is this is this now is brutal because it's it's hill hill and he just can't get the uh, the rack in. You know when people do that, I n I can't do that. You know when you kind of whisper the one ball with your finger and trying to get if it's if it rolled off to begin with, where is it going to to roll back it in? It stays all the time. <laughs> Not every time, but probably fifty or sixty percent right. of the time it will stay if the balls are in right. the right spot. At this point, um, sometimes it it won't freeze because the rack won't let right. it. You know what I mean? And then when you pull it in, it comes in. And now here's the funny thing: Nick is going to check, and he's going to be asking for a re-rack. <laughs> wow, Brian's <laughs> drinking beer. Good. Uh, there you go. 
man after my own heart because you know what? Oh, I better not say it, but I will. Sometimes drinking is the answer. <laughs> not for me. Not for yeah. me. Well, he didn't whack the balls, and you see... Game nothing, over. Nothing went in. It's, it's pretty tied up. But Teddy has predicted that this is going to be a, a run out. Um, he's going to shoot the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> yeah, so if he can... If, if Brian can count, then he's got a good shot at getting all the way out. The you know, he really one does. One two. I don't know what's up with the eight. That's the only one I don't know about. But <laughs> he can definitely yeah, the eight get from the convert from the two to the three here. He I can do that. I believe if the eight ball like doesn't go into any pocket, it goes there. <laughs> I believe he can. I, I think he's going to run out. I do. He's definitely got a shot to run out here. All right, here it's we not go. easy. See what happens. One rail right to the center of the table. Three ball uh, must go to the side or the corner up up table. I guess he might go to the to corner up table, and he does. Yeah. Perfect. Is the four ball right next to th the three ball? I believe it is. Yeah, that's the four. He might have to do a little something something here, you know, because he's going to be on the wrong side of. Uh, he's going to be on one side of the four or the other. For the five, yeah, so he has to do something. He's got to he's got to have an angle, so it could get a little tricky. Well, but he's not stopping or shaking, so no, he's not. And if he can stay down on the end of the table where the seven ball is, he's easy to get on the six. And here comes his first real rail rail position shot, and you know how these have and gone. And he pulled it off. He's somewhere. <laughs> he definitely pulled it off. Now, are you going to go all the way up table, or are you going to go uh, into the side and, and uh, go two rails around? Um, I think I'm shooting that in the side. I would be, too. And going over there and over there. And two rails around. Oh, he's going one rail. going for the one. one. Rail. The, prob the only problem that he's really going to have here, I think, is getting on that eight ball. Yeah, and, and the seven ball is deep in the pocket, so, you know, playing position off a hanging ball like that isn't all that easy. The no, eight ball, if the eight ball goes in the upper left pocket, then he'll lay this cue ball on the left rail. Let's see if I'm right here. I, and does it go to the upper right pocket? Uh, it maybe. must go in some place. I didn't think it'd go in, it went in any pocket. And this is the first time he's actually looked. <coughs> I think it's game over. You just float this one rail to it. Run right to it. Go, 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 go. Well, and he's definitely, he he's definitely shooting the ball. in the upper left pocket. Just make the ball and draw it over to the, you know, a little bit. And, you know, we've seen this a bunch of times where when it's close, the ball that's, neck, that's, that's blocking the pocket jumps in the way. And he, and he buried it. Yeah. But, of course, <laughs> cue ball frozen. frozen on the side cushion. But... <laughs> This should be a hanger for him. For him, not for me. And oh he my gosh, the he side almost pocket. missed that ball. <laughs> well, wow, Brian well, Parks well, takes it there. Oh, well, Nick Connors. We, we do have a winner there. So is Hill Hill match. 7-6, Brian Parks. He moves on. It was a tough game, and uh, you know it, it's always nice to see a, a Hill Hill match. It was pretty exciting. So... Ted, thank you very much. This is Freddie Agner, the corner man. We are at the U.S. Amateur 2012 at Strokers in Palm Harbor, Florida. This is Inside Pool. For Ted Harris, this is Freddie Agner. Thanks, everybody. And thank you, Freddie, for having me. You're very welcome. Thank you.